So if you're creating a BLE server and you're unable to do it, then I guess you're in the right place. Welcome to Electronics Simplified. So without wasting any more time, let's get the things we need. We'll need the ESP32 and we will need a smartphone and Android device. In order to upload the code, we'll definitely need the micro USB cable. So that's all for the things we need. Some features about the BLE. It can broadcast. It is able to read and write data. And we are able to send indications and receive notifications from the BLE server to the clients. Now let's do the USB connections before we actually upload the code. Now consider the fact that you are actually using a data cable and not just a power cable. The difference between both is that it cannot communicate with a computer. But this one looks fine. Now setting up your programming environment, make sure you have your additional board manager URL pasted. This is how it looks like. The link is in the description. Thereafter, we need to include the library. So in order to find the library, again, the link will be given in the description. You can go and download it. So you can download the zip version of it. This is the link there. Okay. You can download the zip file. Once you download it, you can go to sketch and then say include add zip library and then select the file and then click on open now in my case i already have it so do not worry all right now you can go to your examples and you'll have to look through because sometimes the arduino libraries get a little confusing now esp32 check whether your bl is listed there if not then you can scroll all scroll all the way down and go to ESP BLE Arduino. So it looks like uh, that is the one, yeah. And this is the one, yes. So we have BLE server here. Open the file. Now the sketch is all ready. Go to the link that is provided to generate the UUIDs. Now these UUIDs are specifically used for identifying your device and your service so since they have to be unique you can generate two each and then paste it in your code so once you are done pasting you can save it and then upload the code so before we upload the code let's check for uh, upload configurations so our board is fine our ps ram is enabled everything looks good and then there you go look at the upload screen it should actually match with my serial.begin so now it's fine i hit the upload button and there you go it's uploading it'll take a while And a few moments later, I think, we'll be there. So, finally, we are going to do the mobile app setup now. Install NRF Connect for Mobile from the Google Play Store. It's available and it's free. So, once you install it, open it. And then there's a quick guide. I recommend you to skip it. If you want, you can actually go through. So I'm going to skip in my case, I'll go, I'll skip it all over. There are a lot of other applications for this particular app, but then we are just going to look at the server side. So my phone is actually the client. I'm actually going to find if there is any device that I can connect to. It looks like I found one. Now, how can I actually identify whether it's the same device? So let's try and connect and look at the details so here are the details so if you actually have a look at the details you can 
read through a few characteristics that are shown in this application. So I'll reload again. And there you go. I can actually see the service details. I can see the UUID. And it does match with the one that I actually copy pasted in the code. So that tells me that I'm actually connected with the server. So I will be able to write some data from the client. Now, a quick check. This is how you have to do it. You have to power up your server. And then you can connect and check your UUIDs. So this is how you'll be able to create a BLE server and use it for your projects. So if you find this helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. And in case if you have any difficulties, you can let me know in the comment section. And I'm trying to send in some data. So right now my code does not have it. You could make the changes in the code to receive data. All right. Thank you for watching.